Now, I'm going to show you how you can use your whiteboard to repurpose virtually any content to fit your needs. Let's say I want to build understanding around the concept explained on this diagram. I'm going to use it to explore the benefits of whiteboards within those three forms of communication. Presentation, text communication and virtual collaborations. So what I'll do, I'll copy this section of the slide using cutout tool. It's actually a replicator tool. So I'll replicate this part of my slide so it becomes a separate object. Now I will find some space to put it on my canvas. I move this object with a hand tool here while using zoom tool to pan around. But let's take it to another level. Instead of using existing elements of my slides, I might want to create something new. I'll add a Venn diagram using this function here, image from web. So I'll look up for Venn diagram. There are some that I could use. So I'll go ahead and take this one. Nice. What I'd like to do is to change this green color. So I'll go ahead and readjust the color by using the fill tool, just like that. Great. Now, using this empty diagram here, I have enough room to prepare my explanation. I'll start with labeling those areas where whiteboards make impact. So let's begin with presentations presentations. So I use this text tool here to create those labels. On the right we have collaborations and of course not to forget text communication. Great. Now you'll notice that these elements are actually independent. I can move them around with my fingers, including the diagram. I can use inspector here to make them a part of a group. What I need to do is to select them and use option to group my objects. Now I can move them around with the hand tool. Knowing how to create text labels, let's see how writing works. For that, I'll use a draw tool here. I'll choose the thickness. Every time I use the draw tool, I actually create a new object. If you continue to draw for a long time, everything you write will end up as a single object. What I can do is to separate those objects as I go, like this should be a separate thing to itself, by tapping this button. Also, object that I created when writing sticks to those underneath. So I'll go ahead and create a new one here text communications and collaborations, I believe they can be much clearer if you're using your whiteboard. And also text communication and presentations can be much more personal if you're using such a tool. Now, as you see, everything I wrote grouped together with the object underneath. I'll show you how to group and ungroup objects without an inspector now. For that, we have a triple tap. If you do the triple tap on, let's say, those two objects, they will ungroup and again, triple tap will group them as they were before. 
Also, since the things you add to a whiteboard are essentially objects, you can arrange their hierarchy. Let me show you how to do that with an icon of explain everything. We're speaking about explain everything whiteboard, so let me bring up an icon. I can do this from the clipboard. So for now, I'll put it here just to show you how the arrangement of, of objects work. Again, I'm going to use inspector tool. I will select only this icon and in this section I'm able to bring it to the back or get it more, get it more to the front. I will position for now my icon in the middle or it should be. One additional trick you might find useful is ability to straighten the objects with a double tap. Okay, let's now look at how I can use recording to explain my thinking. 